how to make a paper fortune teller. Kind of a fun little trick to do. You need a square paper. Here we've got a rectangle, a regular eight by 11. So first thing we need to do is make this a square. You can do that by taking one corner, going all the way down from this corner along the edge like so. Crease it nice and good. Like that, so the edge is lined up. Then you're gonna get a pair of scissors and just cut right along this edge, like so. And now when you open it, you've got yourself a nice square paper. So we've already got this crease here. We're gonna fold this corner down to here, make sure it lines up as close as possible. Like that, now you open. Now you've got a nice X right in the middle. So now we are gonna take each corner and bring them to that middle point, right where the X intersects, okay? Do that corner. We're gonna do this corner now just like so, right where they meet up. Then we'll do this corner, right to the middle or as close as possible. And the last corner, just like that, okay? So now we've got the four corners folded into the middle. We flip it over and we do the same thing. We take this corner, bring it to the middle. Crease it nice and good. Take this corner, bring it to the middle, just like that. This corner, we follow the George Strait song and meet in the middle. And then we do it with the last corner right here. So now you've got yourself a nice little square. On this side, you've got some flaps poking up. This side, you've got flaps poking up right here. Now comes the tricky part, okay? This side is where your fingers are gonna go to make, to make the shape of it. So it turns out like this. You put your index finger up on this side, your thumb up on this side, then you're just gonna push down in the middle so it gets the right shape like that, okay? Then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Index finger, thumb, push down in the middle so that it folds the right way. Once you've done that, you should be able to put your thumb and index finger up into the flaps. Might need to work it till it gets a little bent the right way. Yeah, this, again, this is the tricky part, so don't worry if it takes a minute, but you wanna fold it. And now it works, right? You got your thumb and index finger, thumb and index finger, and you can go back and forth. Now the fun part is actually writing the fortunes, right? So generally, you wanna write colors on these flaps, numbers on the inside, with fortunes under each number, so that you can start doing it, right? So you can have them pick a color, you spell out that color, have them pick a number, do that number, and then fold up the fortune to reveal what it is. And that's how you make a paper fortune teller.